Okay, in my last video I showed you where you could download your Windows 10 PE disk and now I'm going to show you how to quickly create a bootable USB flash drive for your uh, live CD. So first off we're going to need two things. Obviously you're going to need to get your your Gandalf's Windows 10 PE and you can download it on his website here. Once you've got that downloaded you can see there's a long list of uh, ones that you can download. Once you've got that downloaded we're going to be using Rufus and uh, you can come down to Rufus here and download the portable version if you wish or the installation version and once you've got that you're pretty much good to go. Now I've got a USB flash drive plugged into my machine here as you can see here uh, we've got a USB flash drive and it's got a load of uh, rubbish on it but we're going to be formatting that anyway so it doesn't really matter and it's our J drive so let's start up Rufus and say yes to the user account control this will then start up Rufus Rufus should detect the drive as you can see here uh, it's got no label and it says 32 bit uh, sorry 32 gig and uh, what we want to do here is going to leave this as is here but you can change these if you wish we're going to leave this as is uh, but we're going to also change this from FAT32 to NTFS and we're going to change the volume label uh, we'll just let let's get our ISO image first so you can see here quick format and we also have an ISO image uh, on the drop down here selected we need to locate that ISO image so we're going to click on this little button here now mine is on my desktop so I'm going to locate that file here is my file so I'm going to click on this and click open and this will now add this inside here as you can see here Gandalf's underscore Windows 10 PE we're just going to leave that as is it doesn't really matter to me and uh, once we've done that we need to do is click on start it's going to warn us that the data on that drive will be formatted uh, so make sure you've got all your data off if you want to keep some of that data I'm going to click OK and that's going to start preparing our USB flash drive and putting in our Gandalf's uh, Windows 10 PE onto that USB flash drive this will then become bootable and we can boot to that uh, device so I'm just going to let this do its thing and this will take a fair bit of time so we're just going to come back when this is complete if you look down here you can see it copying all the data across uh, to our flash drive you can see it's copying the ISO files and these are the files that it's coming across you can see them here okay so that's now completed as you can see here it's ready to use we can now close this off and uh, you can see it here if we click on here you can see all the files inside here all ready to go now if you change your boot order on your BIOS you should be able to boot to this USB flash drive now remember that uh, you could have up to say starting point of a four gigabyte uh, USB flash drive to complete this task uh, but they're so cheap nowadays you may as well buy yourself uh, a bigger flash drive but it will work with a four gigabyte flash drive anyway so i hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when i upload new videos also if you've got problems with your computers or any video requests you can head over to the forums and uh, if you haven't joined my facebook fan page then give us a little like up over there so thanks again for watching guys thanks for your continued support bye for now